Hello everybody, this is Ernie, coming at you along the Russian Pond. Way up here today at the Bluegill Pond, we're going to be doing the first water change. We're going to look at change out. Had a little evaporation, but not a whole lot, but the combination about 25%, about 500 gallons. I just wanted to show show y'all how easy this is with this system. Uh, you see I got the tractor, I got the tote. Uh, I'll be taking out a few hundred gallons. I'm gonna take that, put on my pastures. I think that is an awesome resource. I the fish waste, y'all know everything in the pond. Uh, right now we got as far as I know, we still got 112 bluegill, and we got like seven tilapia in there. Uh, you can see, you, know, you may not see them. So we can center the waterfall. We get some algae bloom. It's just all in all time to do a water change. And I wanted to show you. I just fed them a little while ago. But this is the pond, this is the food pond. Uh, I am totally in love with it. Once we get fish cycled, we'll be able to eat fish out of here every week. And when I mean by cycled, I mean once the bluegill fangling is cycled through, they're big enough to start catching up, harvesting, delaying them, and frying them, eating them. Then we'll just keep adding more. Possibly to fill off here as well. Over here, you have to excuse the mess. We got a bad invasive weed called sickle weed. I want to show you this. Uh, this is just a huge pool of pond filter. All I have to do is open that one valve right down there and switch this waste. Now all that water I'm pulling out of there is going into the tube which again is home and the pipe is fed. So multiple uses, multiple benefits uh, from this pump. A lot of byproducts. Uh, I'm going to redo that right there. I don't like that. The waterfall box. The thing I do like about it, which I don't think really matters, it's got a lot of surface filter meeting in it. Adds more filtration, but the, the filter I got right now, I believe I'll handle any load of meat. Uh, but I'll ever have in here because all I have to do is put it down about over three weeks, do it over two weeks, do it over one week, replace the water. Hi, y'all. We're still working on the water change. I just wanted to show you this right here. Uh, if I done my math anywhere as close to right, count the evaporation and what we took out, we're close to about a eight, ten percent water change. Uh, I didn't want to do a whole lot more than that. The hardest part about this is waiting, time to fill the toad up, and then the time to put the water back in. But what we're gonna do here, you can see the green water full of nutrients, uh, valuable, valuable fertilizer. Uh, this water don't have salt in it. The other water I'll show you when I get it prepped to start backfilling will have salt, but the amount we're gonna have should not harm the grass. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna open this valve right now. Get Okay, y'all, on that part where we was up there at the pasture with that tote, I hit the wrong button or something, imagine that. But anyway, what we're doing with that, uh, with the tote, is we get the fish waste uh, when we do water changes on the bluegill pond, as well as when we do water changes in the fish barn. We got three huge systems in there. We're going to start, we're doing a test with that one I just showed you, but what we'll do we, I'm wanting to start using that water to put on my pastures for a fertilizer. Uh, we dumped out 100 plus gallons, 150. 
of that nutrient rich water that we just drained and we're doing a test with that and once it works which it will uh, I will make a, a spray bar out of PVC pipe and then I'll just fill the totes up when we do water changes and I'll go real slow uh, over all my pastures and then I, as I add more pastures uh, and through a year's time, I believe that's going to be a very, very, very good resource for fertilizer. The other thing we did that I went ahead and done the next day, uh, you seen where we took the pond back to full pool. I let it run all night, dechlorinated, make sure the dechlorinator had got uh, blended in the water extremely, extremely well. Uh, went back the next evening and added the bio seed, uh, which is adding more nitrifying bacteria to the whole system. Uh, and then we added salt to it to equivalent to about eight pounds per hundred gallons. Uh, that low of a dose will not hurt plants. Uh, it will not hurt the grass, but it does do a good job keeping uh, stuff off the fish, parasites, some bacteria, some fungi. We back at the pond, the bluegill pond. Now we're starting to put water back in it. Uh, and when I take water out, add some uh, evaporation, add some doing a water change, whatever amount. This is uh, a couple products that we sell at Fairview. They are widely available if I get that thing to focus getting dark and running out of time. That's what I said, the hardest part about this is the weight. But anyway, let's see if I can get that. That's dechlorinated plus. Uh, it dechlorinates the water, of course, takes chlorine, chloramines, all that good junk out. But it does so much more. It's a stress reliever. Uh, the bio seed, I probably won't add tomorrow, but what that is is a live nitrifying bacteria. Um, that right there will do, I believe, a thousand gallons, which I'll probably put close to all that in there tomorrow. Uh, this pond's only about a month old. I haven't had bio seed to it yet. Um, the pouring in the water can kill the night, will kill the night spine back up too. But that's why I don't put, uh, Way over the mount recommended, and I'll put more as it continues to fill in all that, that cycle. Uh, I might lose a little bit of my nice time back here, uh, but this is the way we do it on the ponds. Uh, really, the only practical way to do it. But then at the, uh, at the same time, I will be adding back, you know, a lot of nice time back to it. Uh, again, another thing I want to mention, people, if you see this, got any questions on this, I'm building this as a food pond, you could put koi, you could put goldfish, a lot of fish, uh, I'll touch on more of this later. This fall, we will probably be building insulated lids and heating this so we can raise tilapia, bluegill year-round. Uh, that would be another benefit when I build it, I build it, I insulated it, uh, it was three foot three foot above the ground, and then it goes a foot in the ground. There's my sidekick. Say hey, babe. Hey. All right, we'll keep filling it and show you more in a few. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's getting closer and closer to dark. Uh, but just like another video I done earlier, I wish y'all would watch them and watch them all. Uh, I think you get a little more out of it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank all the ones that did on the video before last. That blew my mind. I love y'all. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're just trying to have some fun and showing you something we do and come up with. But we're about to the full pool. And the one just keep on swimming. Or something. Go back and watch them. I don't know. Leave me some comments. This is all to my idea, man. Special purpose. Hey, man, uh, I need to Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh,
subscribe to Let's Go Bro GG Man. That's my channel. This channel is Let's Go Bro GG Man. Alright, y'all. Thank you if you watched it. Whatever part you did, if you got any questions, comments, this is a real awesome thing here. Uh, not because I built it, but because of what it can do. See ya. Y'all don't forget. Take time to smother the roses. Be thankful. Appreciate what you got. Help somebody. Have fun. See ya.